Um, I'm a uh, Palangi. Um, my uh, background, my my ancestral heritage is um, Scottish and Irish, a little bit of English, a little bit of Welsh, a little mm -hmm. bit of Viking. Um, and my parents, um, we grew up in Mangere. Um, 275. 275, yeah. I grew up in Mangere. I um, went to Viscount School, Arhanga Intermediate, and MC, Seek the Heights. And then um, went to uni, uh, Auckland Uni, studied social anthropology there. And then um, worked as a storeman for a little bit while I was just wondering, figuring out what to do. Um, after I graduated and then worked as a storeman, did some freelance journalism because I always loved writing. And um, then um, decided to get into teaching. Mm. And I, I um, um, the last school I went to for teaching practice was Tangaroa College in Otara. Oh, wow. Fell in love with that place. Mm -hmm. And um, lucky for me, there was a job there. As soon as I graduated, there was an opening, and so I worked there for 23 years and just finished um, recently um, to uh, explore writing and doing workshops full-time with um, in lots of different schools, but still hopefully maintain the contact with, with Tangaroa. Um, and also, I was also um, married. Uh, my wife is Samoan. We have two daughters. They're both at Macaulay, and we live in Clover Park. Oh, and wow. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Man, what a what a what an intro. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you said you um you got into writing just a little bit. How long ago did you sort of delve into this writing? Yeah, um, I wanted to be a writer since I was like twelve. Um, when I when I read um this Kiwi author Barry Crump, and um this was the first time that I read an author who wrote about people that sounded like my dad and his mates and like we were a rugby, rugby league family so we spent a lot of time at Monaco Magpies League Club and this guy Barry Crump he the people he wrote about were like those people you know people that I saw around me funny stories you know everyday people and that was the first time I'd ever seen um, that in a book before because most of the books were about people from overseas or you know people that have no connection to me at all and I thought man that's awesome I want to write stories like that um, but I didn't I, did, I didn't pursue it because I had in my mind this image of what a writer is. It seemed too, it seemed too amazing. You know, a writer seemed too mystical and I thought they were like from LA or New York, <laughs> you know? They're not David <laughs> Riley from Bangladesh. Yeah. That's what I thought. So I thought, nah, what, who are you thinking you could be a writer? You, hmm. you know, you, you can't be a writer. You're David Riley from Bangladesh. So I never pursued it until... You know, so the only writing I did was school stuff, you know, mm. and then uni stuff, the essays and all that. But then um, it was always there, you know, it was always wanting to come out. And then it wasn't until I was at TC and um, I was teaching English and we had to um, encourage our students to read, you know, and we'd take them to the library. Okay, guys, go find a book, come back in 10 minutes, show me what you got. It was disheartening, bro, really demoralizing to see them walking around the library and seeing nothing that they could connect to or relate to, you know? And they wanted to see, they were like me, they wanted to see themselves in books and they wanted to see things they value and see their histories and, you know, see things that they that are meaningful to them and they couldn't, you know? So, um, like you do, like most teachers do, when you can't find what you need, you make it yourself. Mm, mm. And so I thought, okay, then cool, I'll, I'll, I'll write a book for, I started with a book about Benji Marshall because I knew my, my students wanted to read about him because mm -hmm. that's when he was at his height. You know? So I wrote about, I uh, contacted him through his manager, asked for permission, they said yes. So I wrote the book about him and then, um, and that's pretty much what I've done since then is just try to write books that I know that, um, especially Pacific and Māori young people will like to read because it, it's about things that are from them. You know, their histories, their cultures, their backgrounds or things that they're interested in.